Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. start with some singing today. Let's start with if you're happy and you know it. Okay, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stop, stop. If you're happy and you know it, show hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, show hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, show hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Very <laughs> good, friends. Let's sing one more. Why don't we practice our ABCs today? Okay, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, lovely because we're practicing your ABCs. Well, for our first story, why don't we read a book all about the alphabet? This one's called Roar Like a Dandelion. Words by Ruth Krauss, drawings by Sergio Rousier. A. Act like a sprinkler in summer. B. Butt like a billy goat. C. Crow like a rooster. Make the sun come up. D. Dance with a leaf. E. Eat all the locks off the doors. F. Fall like rain. G. Go like a road. H. Hold your arms out like a little pine tree. I. Ignore yourself and get mad. J. Jump like a raindrop. K. Kick away the snow and make spring come. L. Look under the bed for poetry. M. Make music. N. Nod yes. O. Open your eyes. See the sea. Shut them fast. Lock it in. P. Paint a picture of a cage with an open door and weights. Q. Quack by waterfall and make a pretty rhythm. R. Roar like a dandelion. S. Sit in the sun and shine. T. Try to hug yourself in the puddle. U. Undress to match trees in winter. V. Vote for yourself. W. Walk backward all the way home. X. X out all the bad stuff. Y. Yell, 
Good morning, Big Fat World. Z. Zip, 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 zip. The end. Thank you to our guest reader, Myra. I hope you enjoyed that book. Well, let's focus on one letter today. Do you know what letter this is? That's right, it's the letter M. Can we make the M sound? Mmm, M. And it has these two little peaks right there. Well, what starts with the letter M? I'll give you a clue. Mask starts with the letter M. This is the kind of mask that you wear when you want to dress up. What about this kind of? Mask. This kind of mask you wear when you we're wearing these to keep each other safe. I'll give you another hint for something that starts with M. Mug. We can drink tea or m -m milk in our mug. Well, why don't you watch this next part that's based on this book called It Look Like Spilt Milk. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it was just a cloud in the sky. All of those objects in the sky, they were clouds all along, but they did look like spilt milk, didn't they? Well, we have one more story for today, and this one's called Don't Spill the Milk by Stephen Davies and Christopher Core. Penda lived in a tiny village in Africa with her mom and her aunties. It was rainy season, so Penda's dad was up in the grasslands looking after the sheep. Penda, said her mom one day, I'm going to take a bowl of milk to Daddy. I will be back this afternoon. I know where the grasslands are, said Penda. Let me take Daddy his milk. Please, please, please. All right, said her mom. But try not to spill any milk on the way. Penda ran to milk the cow. She filled a bowl, put it on her head, stood up, and began to walk. Steady, Penda whispered to herself. Gently does it, girl. Don't wiggle, don't wobble, don't try to rest it, girl. Penda picked a path across the uppy, downy dunes, past a caravan of camels and a flock of desert gins. Don't slip, don't slide, girl. Don't fall over. Don't let a single droplet drop on the sand. It was the day of the rainy season mask dance. Penda wove her way amid a million dancing beasties. Walk tall, walk steady, eyes on the horizon, girl. Don't even think about spilling any milk. The great river Niger was dark and wide. Penda took a ride in a stinky fishing boat. Don't shiver, don't quiver, don't fall in the river, girl. Keep it on your head, girl. Milk, don't float. Fifteen pale giraffes were stalking across the plains like fifteen aliens on a dusty moon. Don't look, don't turn your head. Just walk through. You're not at the zoo, girl. You've got work to do. Oh, no! One final mountain looming high. Penda breathed in deep, and up she climbed. Left foot, right foot, never give up, girl. Left hand, right hand, all the way up now. 
At last, Penda arrived at the grasslands. A hundred sheep were munching grass, and there in the middle, chilling in the shade of a mango tree, sat Penda's dad. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Penda. Nice to see you. I brought you some milk, said Penda. She took the bowl off her head, but just as she was passing it to Daddy... Splash! A big fat mango landed right in the bowl. Daddy's milk spilled everywhere. I don't believe it, wailed Penda. I carried that milk for miles and miles over the dunes and across the river and up the mountain. And I didn't stop to watch the mass dance or the white giraffes because I didn't want to spill a single drop. And now look, it's all gone. Daddy gave Penda a big hug. It's not all gone, he whispered. There was more than milk in that bowl. Huh? said Penda. It's true, said Daddy. Your love for me was in the bowl as well. You carried it over the dunes and across the river and up the mountain. You carried it past the mast dance and the white giraffes. You brought it all the way up to the grasslands, and you gave it to me just fine. This bowl was full of love, girl, and it still is. You didn't spill a drop. Penda wiped away her tears. She pointed at the big fat mango. I think it must be lunchtime, she said. I agree, said Daddy. As it happens, I prefer mango to milk any day. Daddy took a knife and cut the mango into three big juicy pieces. Penda ate the first piece. Yummy, she said. Daddy ate the second piece. Scrummy, he said. The third piece was still in the bowl. For mummy? asked Penda. That's right, said Daddy. Tell her it comes with all my love. The, the end. end. Thank you to our guest reader, Myra. I hope you enjoyed that story. So we've come to the end of story time. So let's sing our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for coming, friends, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>